I just discovered the accessibility wizard of Wix, um, which if you click up here under settings, you'll see there is an option for accessibility wizard. Um, I think this has been out for a while. I just never actually used it. And I find that it's extremely useful, not only for accessibility, but also for SEO. Um, oftentimes SEO and accessibility are the same thing. It's making sure you have headlines on your page, making or headline uh, tags on your page, making sure that you have image alt text um, and kind of describing everything on the page so that uh, people that are visually impaired can still have it read or, or uh, uh, read out loud to them basically or other alternatives. Um, and it also tells Google and all search engines and uh, anybody viewing the site what that image is. So alt image text is also important as well as the H1 and H2 tags. Um, and this accessibility wizard actually walks you through that. Um, it's a, kind of amazing, actually. It pulls up your page, and then it walks you through a whole bunch of steps where you can add um, alt text if you're missing any alt text. So we'll say solar installation in Fresno. And it actually does it for you. You just click on the button after you've typed in what you want that alt text to be, and it puts it in there for you. You don't even have to go find that image or anything. Um, this is a very handy feature. Now, I'm just doing this one on a on a sample page. Um, so this doesn't actually, don't pay attention how I'm writing these. I wouldn't actually recommend um, that you name these with the same keywords over and over and over again. For example, you want to name each one with something that's unique that describes what that image is. Um, oftentimes I will weave in keywords, um, so such as solar installation, if this was a solar website. Um, that's okay, but don't use this exact phrase more than once for, for multiple images. Uh, you just want to have it on one, basically. But in this case, this is a sample page, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I'm just kind of walking through so I can kind of complete this accessibility wizard option in this um, video that way we can kind of see how how it works so I think this is really cool like I said it even actually shows you the color contrast if your um, text <coughs> is too light or too dark over too dark a background you can adjust it uh, right here in this accessibility wizard so it kind of walks through every single one of your pages and identifies any problems the nice thing about this is again it also helps with the SEO it's not doing your page titles per se but it is identifying H1, H2 tags, which are good for SEO to define, as well as your images. And it's you know putting text behind those images so it's not just the file name that comes in by default in Wix. Um, so I highly recommend using this tool after you're done you know, building out a website because it will fix and find lots of things that you might have forgotten when you're designing it. Um, or you just weren't even aware that it was even there and available. So I was hoping to get through all these, but there's so many on this pay, <laughs> sample page. Um, it's going to be a while, so I probably won't complete this, but you'll see if I scroll up to the top, uh, it is the accessibility wizard that I'm using and it is found here under settings in your Wix editor. So, um, anyway, just another great tool that Wix offers that really kind of steps up your SEO game as well as your accessibility um, of your website to make sure that all people can view it um, regardless of uh, their disabilities. So uh, let me know if you have any other questions. Find lots more Wix tips on picklewix.com.